Good morning everyone. Alright, so today is gonna be a really interesting day. I'm actually on my way to take a swim and uh, this is like one of the rare events I actually take a swim. Oh look, there's something at the stadium. So many balloons and all the shouting and screaming. Who knows what's happening in the stadium. We're gonna check it out now. Wow, cool! It is a Muslim event because everyone down here is looks they, yeah they, everyone here seems seem to be Muslims. Except me, except me, I'm so sorry. I, I came in the wrong place. I'm so sorry. Alright, so the time now is 11.37 and I have to reach next by 1 pm. So I'm thinking how I'm gonna do that because 11 40 by the time I reach the stadium. I mean the swimming pool is gonna be 11 40 and if I take a one hour swim that's gonna be 12 40 and then I have 20 minutes to bathe and get to next which doesn't really seem to make sense. So this is gonna be tough again yeah. That's that's pretty much what my life is like. I have got to rush from one point to the next point and people are like why are you always late? So this is an exciting day at the pool. The last week I came it was really dead quiet but yeah now you see people actually swimming and having fun lessons we have like the kids pool which is like all the way there and then this is like the medium pool where people come and have very basic lessons or they just swim and have fun uh, not much of long distance swimming down here and then we have the more competitive pool where people who are really interested in exercising actually sit so I mean swim not sit. I was looking at the people who were sitting so I said sit. But this is where they swim. So you can see they're actually having renovation works which is ah, so irritating. Alright so this ends the swim for me and uh, I've got to rush to next. Well I was actually waiting for the sun almost half the whole time but it was not up till quite recently. So now you see the sun but it wasn't up just now so unfortunately I was swimming under the shade for quite a long time and now it's up but I gotta go so ah. Uh, Maybe next week. Alright, so now I'm back at next, And we are looking for two people who are going to spend the day with me today because they want to make a vlog and they want to come out with me. So, here they are. Hello! See, I knew you already. I knew it. What? You knew what? I knew you was there. Why? Because he, he first came out and you were sad. Yeah, Papa knows. Okay. So, I'm going for lunch. Where? Uh, have you all eaten? Have you eaten? Oh my god, I want to eat. You said lunch what? You want to eat what? It's an event down here and it's against bullying. So yeah, the funny thing is that you're supposed to knock them down so you're supposed to bully the cans if you want to join in this. And you're going to use a nerf gun so it's going to be like really cool. Oh, you're a volunteer? But you always bully me! You always bully me, you're a volunteer, how does that make sense? They gave us foul, water bottle, and Fan just was standing around and we are supposed to complete this and then we can get free popcorn and candy floss. So we're just going to do it uh, for the fun of it. Right, so here we are filling up the form and the answers are practically everywhere but we got a little help from a little helper who is Sofian. And now apparently he's a volunteer here. Can you show us the volunteer tag? Even I'm a bully, I don't give a damn. Yeah, yeah, he's a bully in school and he's doing this. And thanks to Isaac, Lester, he got me nuggets for lunch. So this is my lunch. Thank you. Alright, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to this form. And yeah, they will actually ask you something. So if you don't know how to answer like this guy who doesn't even go through the thing, he just got the answers from me. So yeah. Oh, oh, he passed the test. You passed the test? God, how do you even pass the test? Oh, yourself. Ah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. He did it, he did it, he did it! Oh man! Ah, he did it again, right! So does he get, does he win the whole table of popcorns? No. <laughs> what, what do you win? Nothing? Oh, that's so It happens only when Jervis plays. I have no idea why. It has to happen only when Jervis plays. Oh! One more time, one more time. What? 
<laughs> One bullet and everything fell. Oh my gosh. Wait, what did you just say? Say again? Huh? Say again? What's the meaning of that? Uh, hi, hi, my, my name is Isaac. Uh, wow. Which is what? Long time no see. Hi. You know what happened? <laughs> Jeremy just fell on... <laughs> Jeremy just fell on the travel later. Causing everybody to be like a... What do you call it? Like a landslide, you know? Everybody like just falling on each other. <laughs> Like, yeah, exactly. He was like just boom, and then everybody just smashed right into him. We smashed right into him, and then everybody behind us just came smashing him. Everything on my game. Like my lens, my just stupid tripod. Jarvis, you cannot fall this way. Okay? I mean, mammoths are already going to get extinct. You can't do that. He's the last living mammoth. Yeah, exactly. He's the last. Alright, so now we are at. Sim Lim Square. Okay, so now we are out of Sim Lim Square and I got myself a camera stand as well as a new road mic. Finally, but before that, we cannot use our camera until the road mic is set up. Oh no, I haven't been here before. Trespassers will be referred to the police. I haven't been here before and now that I'm here, everything is closed. It's a dead place. Oh, cool. Look at those huge gates. And that huge play area in the center that's like a really good place to make your videos okay so we have been walking for some time and this whole place is basically cordoned off you can't go in you can't see anything and Jervis is far behind he's using my camera and I'm very worried yeah he's using Isaac's camera and Isaac is very worried because Jervis may just drop the camera like he almost dropped the microphone that Isaac just got Alright, so let's look at the things that I just got. This is one of them. The Video Mic Pro. So, this is a new one with a new stand. And the old Video Mic Pro has been passed down to my trusty old pal, Isaac Lesler. Yeah! Now uh, he's gonna make lots of videos for me. We tried to get some new replacement parts for this, but they didn't sell them anymore. So, we're gonna have to make do with whatever we have here. We also got a Monfrotto stand. So this comes with a joystick head and it allows us to control the camera in all directions much easier. So we're going to check that out now. But okay, in this box for the video mic, we have basically just the instruction, quick guide. You don't really need those, sir. Uh. Yeah, we don't need those. And then we've got the stand here. So this stand looks a bit more sturdy than the previous stand. Uh, everything else looks pretty much the same. Probably easier to control this. Areas. It's super califragilistic espialidocious even though the sum of it is something quite atrocious. It's super califragilistic espialidocious even though the sum of it is something quite atrocious. This is the Monfrotto stand. Yep. So this stand seems better and still very cold from the icon of the shop. Mm -hmm. And you just remove this. You're just rolling this allows you to move this. So now you can actually go left, right, up, down and even diagonal. And you have this option to actually change it here. So you actually can go like a 360 kind of thing. Ooh. Four extensions instead of three in the previous one. So it's going to be much longer on each leg. All right, so we've been taking tons of photos, uh, just having fun, learning about the camera and trying some jump shots. So these two nut heads are dancing to the song and the rider there is enjoying himself too, he's dancing to the song with them and he's so happy, he's smiling, look, he's gonna cycle. He's gonna cycle over here, yeah man! Wow, 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 look at this, look at this. Rifle drills on a camera stand. So now we are going to experience not really experience, I, I realise this isn't really called the traditional ice cream Just the way they used to sell ice creams last time These days they sell ice creams by putting them in freezers 
and you just take what you want and pay and well this is what Isaac really means he wants or rather he likes to buy ice cream from these bicycle ice cream stores but they do taste a bit different all right so this is the ice cream in bread okay so you can see it's this very colorful bread and mint ice cream i like mint ice cream yours is more flavor chocolate. chocolate yeah chocolate ice cream and this is in cup so basically we paid this is potong what potong ice potong why is this potong because it's rectangle hey can you tell us again what is the difference between the different ice cream stores okay um usually from what i see there are three different flavors uh brands mingo um walls wait bingo b-i-n-g-o mingo mingo yeah mingo walls i don't know what else magnolia and evergreen this is evergreen um the one you're eating is magnolia i think it's either magnolia or wall uh mingo okay um so even though it's walls, right? They, I, because at the point of time, walls was their uh, supplier. But I think walls stopped manufacturing this kind of potong style ice cream, so they use mango instead. Mm. And um, they do have a difference, like from the chocolate. The chocolate for evergreen, it tastes more sweet. Whereas the mango and the magnolia, they are like more rich in flavor. So this one is sweeter. Mm. Which I like. Yeah. Uh, so can you actually tell by looking at the ice cream store? You can't. All right. Buy the same flavor. Exactly. You, you're making me want to try. So, to be honest, I just thought ice cream stores are just like they all get from the same company. That's Isaac there on his third ice cream. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you wouldn't expect someone of his size to love ice cream so much. Gosh. Oh, I wish I could eat like him. Wow, look, they have like quadcopters here and what really caught my attention is this one. This looks like the DJI one. The DJI, I think like the Spark, yeah. DJI Spark. This looks like the Sainma. This one also looks like another Sainma helicopter. So that's how they make so many different variants of popular quadcopters. That looked like you when you were dancing just now. Alright, so that's... Jervis's quadcopter It's really high, it's I think at least 20 meters high And that's where he is So he has been following the cricket and walking around with it You can see it fly Whoop. The cricket can actually fly very high Try to go as high as you can Just, just do it, just do it It's very high now Oh, uh, he's not confident in flying it higher so you see, so this shows you that having a quadcopter can be a sport for the young ones too. They end up running after the quadcopter. It's a healthy sport. Okay, so what we are going to do now is they are going to have a competition, okay? They are going to see which quadcopter is able to fly faster. Is it Jervis's or the cricket, alright? They are having to fly past me. Are you ready? Ready? Three, two, one, go! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Apparently, Isaac's one seemed to be going. Oh, this just died. Isaac one is far away. Oh, oh, yeah. You won. Okay, land in front of me. Not on me. In front of me. Oh, that's very good control by Jervis. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're done with flying the drones. We're now going to buy ice cream again because Isaac wants to eat this, like he says in his own words, traditional ice cream. So what? This looks even thinner than before. Yeah. But, but it's very nice. starting to get thinner and thinner. I know. It's very, very nice. Okay, so now what we're going to do is after buying the ice cream and everybody's happy, we're going to walk all the way to next. Yeah, we're going to walk all the way to next. Ta -ta -ta -ta. 
ta ta ta. Okay, so how was the day? Actually, very fun. Eh. Very, very fun. fun. Right. What's your most fun? Uh, What's it? The drone. The taking photos. The taking of photos, right? Like, Jumping, uh, jump shots and everything. Right. So we're gonna share some of your photos with everyone. How about you? What's the most fun? Drone. The drones. Right. So have you improved in your drone? I flying? can. I can stable it. Like. I can control it properly. Right, cool. That's his second time on that. So, very good. What about you? So my favorite part of today was really spending time with you guys. Because every day I get to do okay. fun stuff. Okay, other so than us. It's really the other than us. Uh, I think it's also learning about ice creams. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect ice creams to be so intricate and difficult to understand. Okay, now. So today had been a really fun and exciting day, but really tiring. And on our way back, we were trying to find train seats, but it was impossible. There was no train seat for us all the way till we reached back to where we needed to go. Oh well, thank you so much for watching this, and I hope you had fun. You know, do stay amazing, and well, have a great day.